going to the Scorpion. If, if he turns him, there it is. If he turns him, he's there. got it. There it is. The referee reaches down. The referee reaches down. The referee can't stand. Christian is trying to pound him. Wait a minute. Who's the oh, hell is going on? What? No. What's going on? Wait a minute. That's oh. Tonko. That's Tonko. This is a man who has solved problems for Christian Cage for several years. And out of nowhere, Tonko has hit the ring. Oh, man, he won't sting over him. Oh. Myself. You've done a background check on Tonko, and he barely passed. Be that as it may, we are fine, upstanding young men, Jimbo. But I'm not here to talk about us. I'm talking about your champion. I'm talking about Abyss. Have you done a background check on him? Because if you have, he's done something that would make your stomach turn. What's he talking about? It would make you sick, and you wouldn't be out here focusing on LAX. You would be focusing on him. So you know what, Jim? Let me tell you a story about a little boy named Abyss. Oh, and, and here comes the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, the Monster Abyss, charging into the ring. And Tomko misses with a clothesline. Look at Abyss get Christian Cage and turn his attention to Tom. Look at those devastating rides as you see James Mitchell also walking down ringside, but as he's concentrating on Tonko. Oh, nice boot right there to the face of Christian King, but Tonko gets him right back. Yeah, speaking of big boots, you remember last week on Impact, and, and right there you just heard as well Christian Cage claiming that Tonko and Abyss's paths have crossed in the past. He has a secret about the monster Abyss. Oh, there's two weeks in a row he's alluded to it. And you can see this time the monster of this didn't want anything to be said. And now it's just the beatdown as the two of them with Christian Cage with the crowd yelling, yelling. But here he is. Here comes Sting. Baseball bat in hand. Sting on the offensive. Shots for Tomko. Oh, there goes Christian Cage. He clothes lining with the bat over to the floor. This is just a glimpse of what we're going to see this Sunday at 
turning point as Sting, the Monster Abyss, and Christian Cage, all three will be in the ring, and only one comes out holding the NWA World Championship. Remember last week, Sting tried to get inside the head of the Monster Abyss, and now Sting extending his hand for a handshake to Abyss, and you can see James Mitchell at ringside. I just read his lips. He said, Abyss, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, he knows that Sting is getting into the mind of the monster. He knows how fragile probably the mind of the monster of this is. Sting really preached to him last week. Got into his heart, got into his soul. And you can see him He's going for it. He does it. Hand. He does it. Like... Mitchell's got one. Oh, oh, a black hole slam. about up it's like this you just jumped on the short bus with a one-way ticket to embarrassment because right now the world is about to find out about your dark past Sting is focused on the NWA World's title. 
It's obvious I've got something that belongs to you, the world title, but you got something that belongs to me. You know, you got potential to be a great world champion, but you got to start making some different choices and going down a different road, which means you got to stop worrying about your past. Stop thinking about your past and all the secrets you got in your past because you can't change the past. Boy, you can tell he does care. But the good news is, the good news is, Abyss, you can change. We can change your future. We can change your future. What I'm saying, Abyss, is this. I'll give you what belongs to you if you give me what belongs to me, and that's a world title shot at final resolution. We can set it right now with a handshake. Oh, he's got it outstretched right there. Will the Monster Abyss accept it? Hand extended from Sting. Close the deal, Abyss, and defend the title January 14 at final resolution. What's it gonna be? This is a risky move by Sting right here. We we know what happened the last time he extended his hand. Well, well, oh, wait well, a minute. well. How did I know it was gonna come to this? Abyss and the Stinger together again. It's a real hallmark moment. Christian Cage, courtesy of Tomko's now, DVD. Now, I guess it's really none of my business, this little bond that you two share. But this, this is my business. You remember this place, Abyss? The surroundings, the setting? Kind of reminds you of home, doesn't it? No, I'm just here to gather some facts before I let the world know exactly what it is that you've done. Something so wrong. Actually, I believe the word is unforgivable. I'm just here to do a little investigating. I guess you can call me a real private dick. Now, Abyss, you can take the Stinger's advice and look to the future. But remember, the past is never gonna let you forget. You have something that belongs to me. So do the right thing, because the decision that you make may affect the rest of your pathetic existence. Talk about blackmail. He'll go to any lengths to get a title shot. Remember that room right up there, Abyss? Was that your window, huh? Looks like you had a great view. That must mean that Abyss was in prison. Abyss! That was a major league punk right there that you don't have to listen to anymore. You can... You can determine your destiny right now, Abyss. All you gotta do is shake my hand and solve it right now. Go down a different road, Abyss. Sting is relentless. He is absolutely sure that Abyss wants to shake this hand. He's taking a huge risk right here, Mike. And I think he's absolutely sure that he can get inside the mind of a monster. I thought Abyss was gonna shake it right there. Oh, it's still, wait a minute, no! No, he went right for the neck. And now Sting has no choice but to go after the monster as he takes his shots at the gun. Look at this series of right hands by Sting right into the midsection of the mist. Oh, rocks him. What's Sting going to do? Double leg takedown. Going to try and drag him back out to the middle of the ring. And here comes security to fill up the ring. I mean, this just gets more bizarre by the second. It looked like Sting was right there. You can see he's upset. He wanted to close the deal with the Mist to get the title shot of resolution. Uh oh Here comes Tom Poe, the man who brought the Christian Cage DVD into play. What you gonna make? You hear what he said? What you gonna do, huh? Oh, he's asking him what he's gonna do. Yeah, what decision are you gonna make, Abyss, when it comes to the world's title shot? He looks confused. He's not sure which way he's gonna... Wait a minute! There's Christian Cage! He was impersonating oh. TNA security! Look at this! Using a nightstick as a weapon, attacking Gold Sting and taking out TNA security! It doesn't matter who's in his power! And he goes right after the world champion and knocks him out of the ring! Oh, it was a setup the whole time, Mike! Tomko and Christian Cage had this set up as you see James Mitchell berating the monster of No question about that! Mitchell wants to take over control of his monster! Meanwhile, in the ring, Tomko holds Sting while Christian continues! What a brutal assault this is with the nightstick! Oh, he's choking the life out of Sting! Oh, wait a minute! Here comes the monster of this, and it looks like Sting's batting his hand! Yes, it is, and he clears the ring right away! Oh, man! Unbelievable how this thing is developing! Oh, but Mitchell isn't going to be happy with this because Abyss came to the rescue of Sting! Oh, oh look at Mitchell, he's irate! Oh, he's telling him, don't do it! 
Don't do a look at him. He's trying to get him out of that ring right there. And Sting, he's helpless right there in the corner. And he's looking on and he looks scared. Did Sting get into his mind earlier? Abyss hands the bat over to Sting. I can't believe it. Abyss is showing some compassion. And he hands the bat right there to Sting. But we still don't know who's going to face Abyss for the NWA title and final resolution. Is it going to be Sting? Or is it going to be Christian Cage? And look at this, this thing's got him in this. Yeah, score being applied to Mitchell. Abyss. Oh, wait a minute. Remember, they said they were going to work together. Abyss just slammed Sting with the chain. Remember that conversation that Christian. I, I don't believe that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Abyss caught me unaware, that's for sure. That one came out of nowhere. Again, Sting got distracted. He put the scorpion on Mitchell, and the monster caught him with the chain, and then the frog splash off the top to the back. Gonna try and revive the referee and make him count. Look at him roll. Pin two. two. Christian Cage is the new champ. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new NWA Heavyweight Champion of the World, Christian Cage. He's done it. Christian Cage, despite the fact that his man, his insurance policy, Tonka, did you see Mitchell laughing? I think you're right. I think I get it. You think he'd be upset at Abyss losing the title? He's just reveling in the fact that Sting didn't win it. He had his faces covered. He had his faces covered. And you saw that where Abyss took that chain when you thought it was going to end it. We'll see you next month. And against all odds, Christian defends against Kurt Angle. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way into the impact zone, he is the new NWA heavyweight champion of the world, Christian I told you all, the biggest star in TNA history would regain the biggest prize in this industry, the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. And he did it, he won the three-way elimination matchup. And it's like they say, there's no rest for the wicked because my first opponent at Against All Odds, February 11th, has already been announced. And that opponent is none other than Kurt Angle. Now I could sit out here all day and run through Angle's laundry list. Olympic gold medalist, shoot fighter, submission specialist, and to top it all off, the biggest I've ever met. better watch who you're calling an ass. Especially when your bodyguard slash life partner isn't here to back you up. Life partner? 
You know what? You don't need to wear Shut up! I'm not finished. For the next three weeks, I want you to take that title home with you. I want you to shine it up. I want you to take it to bed with you. Because at this pay-per-view, that's right. I'm gonna take this right from you, and it's gonna go home with me, and it's gonna be up on my mantle, right next to my Olympic gold medal. There's not a damn thing you can do about it. You see, Kurt, that's what makes you and I champions. Confidence. But the one thing that separates us is the fact that I know how to channel my emotions. Something that you don't know how to do. And you see, Kurt, oh, hold on, hold on a second. I also know that to beat a guy like you I need to get inside your head. I need to know what makes you tick. So I've taken the liberty of acquiring the services of a consultant. I'm the champion, you shut your damn mouth. What's the story on this? Acquiring the services of a consultant? Someone, Kurt, someone in this person, they think just like you. This person wrestles just like you. This person is intense just like you. And this person, like me, and for good reason, can't stand you. Looking for outside help for the championship match. All right, I'll bite. Who is it? You spit in my face and you think I'm just gonna tell you who it is? You know what? Unlike you, since I'm such a nice guy, if you pay close attention, if you pay close attention to what's going on here, maybe, just maybe, I'll drop you a hint or two. Who is it? Is it Goldberg? You can see Angle's intrigued at this point. Is it Brock Lesnar? Well, it doesn't matter. Because if you try to press my buttons, it worked. Get in those shots, but Joe fights back with right. But here it's the numbers game. Oh, it's 
two on one. The two on one beat down right there is AJ able to get away from Rhino. And look at that. AJ slams him in the back. As AJ Styles and Christian. Could AJ Styles be the consultant? What's going on out there right now? This is unbelievable. Look at this. Oh, AJ again. Steel chair to the back. And that one goes right to the knee. And look at this. Christian Cage holding Kurt Angle right there. Hits him in the back. And then he hits him with the unprettier after AJ hits him with the chair. Oh, and now Christian Cage choking Kurt Angle with his ring jacket. Christian Cage and AJ Styles, they got the last word. Kurt Angle, Samoa Joe, they're down and out. It's kind of an agreement they've got. That's not an agreement. Wait a minute. Somebody just came in the ring what? and hit with a lead pipe. A hooded man. He just cleaned up right Another man will enter the ring until all 10 men have entered the lethal lockdown. And at this time, I would like to introduce both team captains. First, the captain of team number one, the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Please welcome Christian Cage. Well, if I can kick off impact, with a dated reference at Destination X this past Sunday, the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, Christian Cage, he was like the Lou Gehrig of professional wrestling. He was the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Insert echo. Some of us doing everything but win the world's title. Christian Cage will captain Team number one, but ladies and gentlemen, the captain of team number two, 
the Olympic gold medalist. Please welcome Kurt Angle. As you can see, Christian Cage will captain one team. Kurt Angle will captain the other team. Five members of each team, and gentlemen, it's your responsibility between now and lockdown to pick your own teammates. I advise you to do two things. Choose quickly and choose wisely. Hold on one second there, Jimbo. I gotta tell you something. I don't like the sound of this. I don't like the sound of it for one damn minute. Christian, do me a favor. Shut up. Whoa, well, he said what we all wanna say. I don't care whether you don't like it. They don't care whether you don't like it. It's happening. It's not brag, it's fact. So what you need to do is get your butt in gear because you got teammates to pick and this is taking place. And you know what? You can't do anything about it. Now, as far as I'm concerned, the matter is settled. We've got a wrestling program to have. So without further ado, let's get this bad boy started. We're back in the impact zone. There's NWA world champion Christian Cage, joined by the phenomenal AJ Styles. I'm going to get straight to the point. I am the World Heavyweight Champion! And I believe I said I'm about to get straight to the point. And that is to introduce the third member of Team Cage at Lethal Lockdown. So I want you all to get up off your fat ass and give a warm welcome to a dear, dear friend of mine, Abyss! Wow! He made the deal! The NWA World Heavyweight Champion, he has the phenomenal AJ Styles as the first member of Team Cage, and now he has the six foot eight, 350 pound the lockdown match at lockdown April 15th in St. Louis. He never ceases to amaze me how resilient Christian Cage is. You talked about the highway robbery that was just an agent action. Now he gets the monster of his to join his team. Incredible powers of persuasion. Wait, Christian, come on in, Abyss. You don't have to stand out there. Encouraging you. You don't him. have to stand out there. Hey, hey, come on in. We're more than just a team. We're a family. It is a family that you want, right? Come on in here. Come on in. Abyss seems Abyss, a little hesitant. Come on in. Just make sure you take your rightful spot. Standing behind the champ. Come on in. Yeah, standing behind the champ. Whoa. Whoa. The lights go out in the impact zone. The familiar music has to signify the appearance of the iPod himself. And he's coming down the ramp. Team. Heck, he is his own team. Look at him. He can see right through you, pal. He's tired of being led around and told what to do. Those days are gone. Let's just say that after Sunday night, he saw the light and he's a new man. After the last rights match at Destination X. But Abyss, there's just one more piece, the most important piece to your past, that we still need to get out there. For your own good, I know it's going to be tough for you, but it's the most important one of all. 
but we're going to cross that bridge at another time. The only thing I want to say to you now is the future is yours, and all you got to do is reach out there and take it. What a bunch of crap! A bitch! A bitch! This is the same guy that told the whole world about your secret. It wasn't me! It wasn't me! He doesn't care about you! We do! Get hey, this right! Hey. Hey, hold on. TNA Let's bring Jim this Cornette. whole thing down to a screeching halt right now. I love drama in everybody's life, but I love a good old-fashioned wrestling match just a little bit more. So we're going to find out whose side Abyss is on next week here on Impact Tag Team Match. AJ Styles and Christian Cage versus Sting and Abyss. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on just a minute. I... Let's just, I, I gotta one up you right now. Instead of wait till next week, what do we do? Do, do it right now. Wait, here we go! Abyss and Sting together! Sting and Abyss versus Christian Cage and AJ Styles next week. Can you imagine Sting and Abyss as a team? You aren't gonna say anything? Do I look like a freak? Do I look like a freak? Oh, look, look, you said we were gonna be a unit. They look like a well old machine. That's what they look like. You know, Oh, I don't even know what you've gotten me into. I mean, where's Tomko? Where's Tomko at? Oh, you had to go there. Oh, and Abyss, your great plan. He was supposed to be on our team. Not only is he not on our team, but we're wrestling against him and Sting tonight. You know what? The only reason I agreed to be on your team was because of the title shot that you, you offered me. You know something? You bring that up again. I'm not going to give you the title shot. I take it back. You can't take it yes, back. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I no, can. No, you can't. Hey, hey. Who are you talking to? Christian? Yeah, you're talking to Christian. But don't forget, you're talking to the champ, AJ. You're only looking at this much. When you need to be looking at the big picture, before the end of tonight, the sides are going to be even. I think. What do you mean you think? Christian, talk to me. I want to know. He's feeding from the crowd, and he's got it applied. And you can see the referee now letting Christian Cage in it. AJ Styles just tapping out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Scott Steiner, big pop up on Scott Steiner. Steel pipe in hand, and he just drilled Sting right across the back. And you see him, he's, he's hiding on the other side. No. And the referee doesn't see it, and now AJ, no. oh, this Two, is just wrong. Three counts. This is wrong. They steal it. With that steel pipe, lays out Sting, and Christian Cage and AJ Styles get the win. Obviously, Christian Cage did have a plan. He had Scott Steiner the whole time, and he waited to the perfect moment, and Scott Steiner comes in and makes the impact. Oh, check this out. They're fighting for the spotlight, but I think we know who the third member is for Team Cage at Lethal Lockdown. Tom Co, welcome back. It's been three weeks since we've seen you here at TNA. Do you mind giving me a couple of comments on the rumors and speculations concerning Tom your strength? Tom Co, what's, what's up, buddy? I heard you were going to be here, man. Whew, I just ran from the other side there, man, to catch up with you. Hey, have a good, have a good trip to Japan. You have a good time? Huh? You're looking buff. You're looking big. Would you eat some sushi? Maybe some of those little noodles? Just take a couple origami classes or something? You have a good time? We, we can catch up later, man. We can catch up. You know, we got a lot of time. For, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. My phone's vibrating here. I got to take this. Hold on one sec. Yeah, what's up? No, uh, no, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work for me. I'm the champ. You hold out for more money. That's the way it's gonna be. That's what you gotta tell him. Hey, listen, I'm in the middle of something. All right, it's important. I gotta get back to you. All right, I'll see you. No, that's all right, man. It was good talking to you. We'll catch up in a little bit. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, making their way into the impact zone. Representing Steve Cage, the phenomenal AJ Styles, Big Papa Punk Scott Steiner, and their leader, the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, the instant classic, Christian.
make it official, to make the official announcement for the third member of Team Cage at Lethal Lockdown. And that member happens to be a man that needs no introduction. A man that, and I'll tell you like it is, a man that, of all the booty daddies I've ever met in my life, this guy's definitely the biggest and baddest. I'm talking about the genetic freak himself, Big Papa Pump, Scotty Steiner. Scotty, welcome to Team Cage. That makes it official. Don't forget the title shot that I deserve. You were right, Mike. He offered him enough. He just throwing out title shots well, like they're candy. Don't worry about it, Scotty, right? Uh, that's later, man. But right now, right now we're, we're letting the people know about Team Cage. We're making things official. And speaking of official, I'm going to go ahead and introduce the fourth member right now, being led to the ring by Jim Mitchell. He is the monster abyss. What a shocking revelation we heard at the outset of tonight's Impact Podcast. The explanation by what it is that abyss went to jail as an innocent man to protect his mother. And what is this evolved into? Plain and simple blackmail on the part of Jason Mitchell. I just want to say that it's a pleasure, an absolute pleasure doing business with a righteous man like yourself. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Team Cage is complete and ready for lockdown. Oh, Christian, Christian. I don't know how they do it in Canada, but in Gainesville, Georgia, this equals four. Where's number five? You're not gonna get Sting, so shut your damn mouth! AJ, you wanna know where the fifth member is? I was gonna surprise you later. You ruined the surprise. But since you wanna know so bad, since you wanna know so bad, hell, I'll go ahead and introduce him right now if you want. Fine. Introducing the fifth and final member of Team Cage from Jacksonville, Florida, I give you Top Cone. Well, AJ Styles looked like a kid on Christmas Day with the news that the fifth member of Team Cage was to be introduced. And you know, when we saw Top Cone earlier, when he arrived at the Impact Zone, he was none too happy to see Christian Cage. And I guess he's pretty reluctant to come out at this point. Uh, he's called for Top Cone, but we haven't seen Top Cone I guess he didn't yet. hear me. I guess he didn't hear me. All right. Let's try it again. The fifth member of Team Cage from Jacksonville, Florida, Tom Cole. Since I come to TNA, you've made me a lot of promises. And every one of them has turned out to be a lie. So I want to get a couple things straight, Christian. First of all, I play second fiddle to no one. Second and most importantly, you owe me a title shot. A title shot that I earned. A title shot that you promised. And I could care less if you offered one to Scott AJ or Father Mitchell and his little puppet abyss. The, bo 
Back up. The bottom line is, before I join your team or anybody's team, I want my title shot. And frankly, I don't see why I can't get my title shot right here tonight. Wow. What do you say, Christian? You're handing out title shots. Tom Cole wants it tonight on Impact. Well, I don't think this is the reaction that Christian Cage was expecting. I cannot believe how selfish you are being. Putting yourself before the team. Where's your team spirit? I am a man of my word. And I said I would give you a title shot. And I will give you a title shot. But not until after we beat Team Angle at Lethal Lockdown. Because you see then... Hey, Tomko, what Christian's trying to tell you is he was never going to give you a title shot. Christian is a liar. What I'm sensing is that you might want a piece of your former boss. So what I can promise you, Tomko, if you join Team Angle, you'll get to kick your former boss's Pretty good deal. Hold on a second, Kurt. I think it'll speak for Tom Cohen. Shut up! Wow! Put the champ in line. Hey, hey, hey! Hold up, hold up! Let's DNA pump the brakes here Cornette. just one second, please. Oh, come on! You don't need it. I am sick and tired of listening to all this who shot John on everybody's part. This is a wrestling program, not a debate. Not a soap opera. So we're going to settle this issue tonight with some good old-fashioned wrestling. Amen. It's going to be one member of Team Cage versus one member of Team Angle in this very ring. And the winner of that match, whoever it may be, gets Tomko on their team at lockdown. Seems like a fair way to decide it. And Tomko, if you agree to go along with this, if you agree to sign a contract for whichever team wins your services here tonight, take a look at that. Check those out. Then I will guarantee you that you will get the NWA World Championship shot that Mr. Christian promised you. Hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second, Tomko. You got to think about it. This doesn't sound like a very good... Oh! Mr. Cornette, or Jimmy, you got yourself a deal. Wow! There you have it! We're gonna settle it in the six-sided ring. A member of Team Cage against a member of Team Angle. The winner to get top color services for lethal lockdown. Fisk gonna try and take Angle up into the air. Oh, look at Fernando! Oh, one, two, three, yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner,
Christian, you know, last week at the town meeting, Jim Cornette made a shocking stipulation about lockdown. What's your response? My response? How do you think I feel about it? I'm sure Team Angle's happy about it. I'm sure all these guys are happy about it. They're walking around with smiles on their faces. I mean, it went from bad to worse. First thing resurrected from the dead, again. Then Jim Cornette states a stipulation that says, at lockdown, whoever scores the pinfall, whether they're on Team Cage or whether they're on Team Angle, automatically gets a shot at my title at Sacrifice. Why is Cornette always trying to screw with me, huh? Why does he want to screw Christian, with the champ? Christian, Christian, It's business. I mean, that's what it's all about, business. It's all about that title. That's why you're here. That's why I'm here. That's why we're all here. But you know what? We need to focus on lockdown. We've got the advantage right now. The number, the number game is in our advantage. It's five to four. We should take advantage of that, don't you think? That's very poignant, AJ. How long did it take you to memorize that, huh? You don't think I know that? You're pointing out the obvious. No. You don't think I know? No, you didn't know that because I just pointed out I the already obvious. knew that. No, you didn't. Yes, I, I did. Know. No, I, I, I just knew it. it out. Angle, all right, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, right? You're right about one thing. If Kurt Angle doesn't have a partner by now, he doesn't have one, period. The number game is in our advantage. So on the advice of AJ Styles tonight, guys, we worry about tonight first. Then we worry about lockdown. All right? Good. Sounds good to me. Then, my title shot. Oh. I'm disappointing all you guys putting yourself before the team. You ever watch that thing? And everybody's just trying to find someone here to get a piece of. And look at, wait a minute, what? What? What the hell? Jeff Jarrett, we haven't seen him in much. What is Christian Cage up to? Oh, Christian Cage, I think, has just one up Kurt Angle. What? Well, what the hell? He's a part of D'Angelo. He just creeped AJ Styles, and he shows the five symbol to Samoa Joe, who's in shock. You're all in shock. Joe can't believe it either. Ten, two, three, and yes, Team Angle gets the advantage for lethal lockdown, courtesy of the pin by Samoa Joe. But what a guitar shot by Jeff Jarrett! I look at the look, everybody, everybody can't believe what they've seen. Look at Joe, look at Rhino, Sting, looking on in disbelief as Kurt Angle's got the smile and he's pointing up saying, I told you I had it covered. I can't believe who he chose here. What a way to make a return to TNA. The King of the Mountain is back. Jeff Jarrett returns and he's the fifth member for Team Angle. It's Lethal Lockdown this Sunday at our Lockdown pay-per-view. He said I loaded the guitar with tax. Oh, man, there's Sting. Oh, no. What's oh, he going to no. do? No, oh, no, 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 no that Jared. Don't do it, Jared. That Don't do it. Stink. What's he doing? He's moving him away. Oh, he gets packed him with tax. The tax. The thousands of tax go flying everywhere. Jared, wait, Jared can Jared. get the pin. Look at him pointing at Sting again. Jared could get the title shot right here. This is a chance for a title shot. Pin. One, two. Sting gets the win. Sting gets the title because of Jared. Sting gets the title shot. The winners of the Lethal Lockdown match, Team Angle. This is a real. Why would Jared take the pin? What's he trying to prove? Is he turned over a new leaf? I don't know that Sting believes it, but he took the pin. All the questions, all the doubts that we had about Jeff Jarrett, as far as I'm concerned, they were just answered. They were just answered 100%. Jarrett had that title shot right in his grasp. Jarrett, the knockout blow. And he laid it up for Sting. He handed it to Sting on a silver platter, and Sting's going to get the title shot. He's still trying to get the handshake. Sting can't believe it. He gave him a title shot. I thought Abyss was setting him up. I thought Jarrett had the whole thing planned. And look at this. They shake hands. And the Kurt Angle stuck up top. He can't believe it, I'm sure. And 
I think he finally won Samoa Joe over two. Samoa Look at this, Samoa Joe extending the hand to Jaren. He respects it, and Samoa Joe shakes his hand. My God, what a spectacle! Look at Angle! Look at Kurt Angle's face! He can't believe it! And he's pulling him out! Oh, the top, the top. There you go, there you go! Top right one-sided him! Coming from behind! And here comes Steiner as well! Again, he just took too long in that numbers game! There's AJ Styles in! And it's just a beat down that right here by TK Dalton! Oh no! The champion's got a cheer! He said it at the start of this broadcast that there were gonna be Like lions on a wounded piece of a monkey on a cupcake. Pick your metaphor, but the bottom line is they just demolished the biz. Oh, that was just no, wait a minute. They just had like Chimitaco! Oh no, come on, man! Oh, he always busted oh, open! Oh, blood! Oh, no. Hurt from the head of a biz! Go ahead, hit it! Let's go again! Go on, go on, hit him again! Oh, they have a great example! Learn how to follow orders, a biz! And he's down to his knees at that big pop! I should send Hernandez and Homicide to take a shot. Oh, God, this is sick. And they're not ready. Oh, AJ's got to get his again. That's how you do. That's how you do. I, I can't tell the difference. Oh. I can't see where the man is. AJ the Styles. Styles has got the chance. Shot it. Oh, he creeps him there. Oh. Awesome. I don't know where the monster begins and the stench ends, but the bottom line is this. He just got obliterated. That's discipline. You don't follow orders, you get dealt with. That's not discipline. This is way over the line. Somebody this is stop sin. this. Stop That's this. at the very tip of the line. They haven't even started to go over the line. Do your thing. Now what? Oh, no. Come yes. On. AJ yes. Styles. I love this. The baseball bat that's wrapped in barbed wire. Oh, they are just done. Oh, he can put it right on him. The that's... only thing more beautiful is if he set that on fire. Right on the bare flesh. Right on the arm. What more this you is awesome. do? Look at the blood pouring from the arms of a bitch. Oh, look at the cut right oh, down here. Insubordination. Oh, no. Look at this. They're just absolutely destroying him out there. Insubordination. I've never thought you could feel sorry for a monster, but somebody oh, come stop on. You feel sorry for no. a dog? No, no you have... come on, Conan. Have some kind of a heart. George. Yo, they're doing what they got to do. That's called Not... instilling discipline. Not the concerto. Yes. Yes. We gotta get out of here! Damn it, Conan! I'm glad! How can you condone this? How can you condone this, Conan? And I hope they continue to beat him! tonight on Impact with big implications regarding the World Heavyweight Championship. That's right, JB. I knew it! You were gonna go to him first. Why? Why don't you ever talk to me? I've got something to say. Like, stop volunteering me for these matches! I don't want to be in them! AJ! I don't feel good! Calm down. All right, all right, all right. I, I, I you. Calm down, okay? Calm down. This is the reason. Because tonight, when we beat Sting and Angle, and we are going to beat them because it's real simple. They're not on the same page. They don't like each other. They're going to take each other out. And all we have to do is stand back and pick the bones. But when that happens, AJ, neither one of them is going to be the number one contender for this title. And take a look around you. Look around. Look up. Look down. Look, look, look down the hallway for all, you, for all I care. Look around. I don't see Tomko. I don't see Steiner. And Abyss is dead and buried. And that leaves one phenomenal opportunity. You get it now? <laughs> That's great! That's great. First you steal my hood, and now you find out, you know, I've got someone else who can be phenomenal. That's great. Thank you very much. What are you talking about? Oh, hey, 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 first of all, my hood unzips. It's more like a flap. It's not even like yours, but I thought, you know, that kind of kept us more like a team, like a family, kind of like our chest hair. We match. All right? But I'm not talking about that. What do you think? I'm talking about him? I'm talking about you. When I say phenomenal, I mean AJ Styles. You will be the number one contender. Do you get it now? Oh wait, they're setting up a concerto on an angle! And with his bad neck, it could be a career ender! Oh. Now, feel the, you can feel the vibration with them here! And now you see Steve! Steve Christian! Oh. He just sent them all the way off the dock! Locked out for the floor! Five angle! Quick! He missed Stop. with the kick! And now he's in! Oh! He's got a double! Double oh. angle! They're both he's about to turn in! Good free Rudy Charles! Good free Rudy Charles! 
AJ Styles tapped out. But who did he tap out to? Kurt Angle or Sting? How did he do that? There's no way we can defend Oh, you can see right there, Kurt Angle's in, and you got the pin right there, and they're looking in. The yeah, Angle's got the angle on. Wait, he's tapped out. He's tapped out. What just happened? Kurt Angle just won the world championship. The angle lock of the Olympic gold medal is Kurt Angle gives him the title. But to me, Don, it looked it looked like a dead heat. I think so Sting got the match. Country. And new heavyweight champion of the world. I was talking to Tomko before you got here earlier, and he was telling me that you might be considering more tag team wrestling, being as things didn't quite go your way at Sacrifice. Uh, 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 that's what he said when you guys were talking earlier, huh? Mm -hmm. You guys were talking earlier? You know something? I was talking to Tomko before he was talking to you, and he told me he thinks you're getting fat. Yes, you did. You did. He did say that, Saddlebags. What? But you know something? As, as far as tag team wrestling goes, as far as tag team wrestling goes, I am not a tag team wrestler, all right? I am the best, and there's nobody good enough to fill these shoes, nobody good enough to stand next to the champ. You know what, why are you on a subject that's former champ? What the hell did you say to me? You better take it back. No. Take it back. No. no you're a comedian now, huh? Yeah. You're a comedian, you're a funny boy? Maybe. Oh, you like to tell jokes? This isn't funny. This isn't, a, this isn't a laughing matter at all. Why do you think Jim Cornette put us in this match against LAX tonight, huh? He's got it out for us. Christian, he has something out against you. Why? What did I do? He has something against you. He has nothing against me. Trust me. Oh, why? What, what do you have against me? Seriously. Uh, well, let's see. There's that thing about your huge mouth. Huge mouth? Yeah. My huge mouth? What, 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 what are you talking about? I'm the most respectful guy in that locker room, huh? Most people that say they like me, they say they like me a lot. Yeah, but you know yeah. something? Forget about it. All right? Okay. Cornette doesn't even have the decency to tell me who my opponent's going to be for the King of the Mountain qualifying match. Doesn't even have the decency. You, you have any idea who it might be? Uh, I might. Well, if you have a clue, don't you think you should tell me? You know what I should tell you? I should tell you that you should give me that title match a few months back. Think about that. Think about that? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, hold on a second. Cut no, the music off ready, and ready, put that ready. spotlight on me right now. Jimbo, I got a question. What's wrong with this picture, huh? If it was AJ Styles that came out here and forfeited this match, you'd be standing in the middle of that ring throwing a big party, wouldn't you? Well, you know something? We're gonna have a little party of our own, Jimbo. And guess what? You're not invited. Well, Cornette and Christian have certainly had their problems as of late. a serious announcement here. This is very serious, because you see, what I want you to do right now is for once, do the right thing. I want you to take AJ Styles' hand and lift it high in the air in victory right now. And then, and then we'll be on our way. But first, you know what, you know what, Jimmy? First, since I'm here, I got to tell you this. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you that the way that you conduct business, I think, is a complete joke. Oh, I don't know how wide you that don't is. think I know what's going on around here, Jimmy. You don't think I know? You don't think I know what happened at sacrifice? I know what happened, Jimmy. I'm on to your game. You wanted to make it five against one. That's right. Kurt Angle, Sting, Jim Cornette, and two referees you clearly had in your back pocket. And guess what, Jimmy? You still couldn't beat Christian Cage decisively. You want to believe no, no, it? No. Believe it. I believe it. And believe this, you throw, you throw Tomko and I for no reason whatsoever into a tag match against LAX. 
And to top it all off, the kicker, you still won't tell me who my opponent's gonna be for the King of the Mountain qualifying match. And you know something else, Jimmy? I'm gonna say something, and I'm gonna say it right to your face. This is my show, and don't you ever forget it. Wow. Well, champ, I apologize for not doing business the way you want me to, and I'll try to do better from now on. As a matter of fact, I'll start right now because I was gonna come out here and do some bad business. I was gonna say, since Jeff Jarrett couldn't be here tonight, the only thing to do was to take this guy's hand and give him a forfeit victory and raise it. But since you told me about what kind of bad business I've been doing, I wanna do the right things for TNA, so I'm not gonna do that. Be careful what you wish for, Christy Cage. Uh-oh. Because, because I'm thinking I'm thinking that all these fans in the Impact Zone, they want to see a match. So I'm thinking, just because you showed me the error of my ways, I'm going to make AJ Styles wrestle for his chance at the King of the Mountain match. Against who? Let him earn it. Tonight, in this ring, against Tom Cole. Oh. Calm down, AJ, calm down, calm down. We'll figure this out, we'll figure this out, we'll figure this out, okay? But let's take care of the important business first. Jimmy, tell me who my opponent is gonna be for the King of the Mountain qualifying match right now. I think you've got more problems with your crew, with your posse, with your Christian coalition. You're gonna wrestle a guy that I've heard from your own lips as a punk and beneath you and not in your class, so don't worry about that. Worry about your big time problems, because believe me, pal, you got some. Well, there's so much at stake. Jim Cornette's going to make it equitable for everybody. AJ Styles against Tonko tonight. Styles is going to slide into the bottom row. He's got the steel chair. Tonko. Oh, he was waiting for him. Great leg extension. Really with one, the boot. One, two, one. Somehow, some way, AJ gets that shot off the last second. And Christian now has possession of the steel chair. Where you at, my man? You know what, Christian? We can do this the hard way or the easy way. The hard way is you keep hiding. And when I find you, we'll stretch you out. But we can do it the easy way. And you can face me like a broken. Security! We're gonna eat you! Why? Hey, easy. Why? Easy. Why, easy. Christian? Easy! Last week, Come on. you cost me my chance at the world heavyweight title. Why'd you screw me? Why? Do you want a cancer? You want it? I screwed you, huh? Yes. I screwed you? You know something? If I really wanted to screw you, I would have blown you off three years ago, wouldn't I, huh? I would have blown you off. Oh, you forget? Well, let me refresh your memory since you forget so easily. Backstage at a wrestling show, I saw you standing there in a corner. Big guy, intimidating looking guy. You had a presence about you. You had something about you. So what did I do, huh? I walk over to you, offer you my autograph out of the kindness of my heart. Start up a conversation. Find out you were a prison guard. Working for peanuts, barely making minimum wage. Right? With big dreams of becoming a professional wrestler. I'm the one that took you in. Took you under my wing. Right? Think about it. You could have been, you could have been feeding pieces of crap like abyss, bread and water for the rest of your life. Instead, you got to walk with the champ. You got to walk with a main event superstar. But I screwed you, right? I screwed you. Huh? And I guess I screwed you even harder when I picked up the phone and I called TNA management, right? Huh? Put my neck on the line. Put my reputation on the line for you. You can walk right in. No questions asked. Right into the big time. But I screwed you. 
Huh? I tried to help you last week. I tried to help you. I tried to hand you a chair, but you didn't want it. And it's like I told you when you started with me. Do not think. That's my job. When it's your time, when it's your time to shine, I'll let you know. All right? You owe me. I made you. Don't you ever forget that. I put family, I put, I, put, I, I put food on your family's table. I got you out of debt for crying out loud. And this is how you repay me? Listen, man. We can just squash this right now. We can throw this all to the side. And do what we do best. Worry about Christian Cage. Okay? Your time will come. I need to find out who my opponent is for the King of the Mountain qualifying match. Are you with me or what? Fine. This doesn't know it! Oh! It turns around and just punches the steel chair right into the face of Christian! AJ charges in a bit, and he just tossed him right onto Tomko! He just took out two for the price of one! The monster of this is a man possessed! It doesn't matter what they throw at him! He doesn't care! And now he's got the chair in his hand, and he's pointing at Christian Cage! Referee Rudy Charles telling him, don't do it, or you'll be disqualified! Rudy, step aside! Think about the payback! Think of all the pain and suffering! Oh, there's that revenge shot to the top of the head! Oh, it's gonna cost the miss! Rudy Charles! Abyss. 
I mean, Don, that's gotta be Christian, doesn't it? He was lying in wait the whole time, and he's pulling Abyss into the ring. I swear you can see the fear in Abyss's eyes as he's being dragged into the ring, and here comes Robert Roode. Robert Roode hits the ring. Tomko beating down on Sting, turns it over to Robert Roode, and now Roode and Styles fighting over who gets the shots in on Sting. Sting doesn't realize that Abyss is trapped underneath the ring. It's obviously Christian pulled him underneath. And oh look my at God! Abyss. He's a bloody mess, my Bloody mess? Look at his arm! Wait, wait. Well, that's Christian up on the ramp! Well, then who's underneath the ring? Who pulled up this under? And who bloodied him up that badly? Did you see the blood flowing from, oh my God, from both the arms and from the head of a fist? Oh, just a pool of blood. And you can see now Christian showing everybody that a fist is bloody. What did he have up his sleeve? And he's got the bag of tacks. Who the hell's underneath the ring? Oh my God, the damage that he did. Christian behind this. And look at him destroy oh, his the glass. Oh, glass. Oh, no. God. Abyss, look at him. He can barely move. And Wait they've got Sting, no. No, no, no. Not Sting. Oh. Double choke slam. He just sent him back first right into the broken glass. Look oh, this is difficult to watch. Oh, the back just pulled up by Sting. And now they're dragging the injured Abyss. And we still don't know who's under the ring. Oh, my God. He's bloodied up. Yeah, but Don, think of what Christian Cage said at the top of this broadcast. He said we're not only going to win these matches, we're going to eliminate take out both the Monster Abyss and Sting, and we're seeing that plan come to fruition right before our very eyes. Oh, you could just look at the face of Christian Cage. You can see he masterminded it, and look at Abyss. He doesn't have anything left to fight back, and the numbers is too much, and Sting is just out on his back. And Abyss just crumbled as now AJ Styles hands in another bag to Christian Cage. I'm just guessing these are going to be the thousands and thousands of taps. Oh, you're right, Mike, it is! And they're putting them on top of the glass! So you've got the glass and the tax mixed together! Oh my god, they're telling him to put Abyss in it! Oh, what more can they do to this man? Abyss barely, barely even able to get up to his feet! Tomko's got him throttled! Oh no! Oh my god! And you can see him float over and just look at the expression on Christian's coalition and what a bloody, bloody pulp! And you can see they've just counted him out as AJ gets the pin. Christian Cage used this no disqualification. Must be a winner match to his advantage. Yes, AJ Styles gets the victory, but more importantly, look at the prone bodies of Sting and Abyss. And you can just see how happy they are wow. as they're celebrating in the ring as Sting and Abyss lay on their backs. We thought the last beating of Abyss was brutal, but this one's even sicker. And who or what is under the ring? Tell me that you didn't have anything to do with Abyss getting pulled under that ring and halfway butchered last week. Tell Jimbo, me that. Jimbo, I swear to you, I didn't have anything to do with it. I went out there because I was interested in myself. I don't know what's underneath that ring. I don't know what you keep underneath You would rather clean. climb a tree and tell a lie than stand on the ground and tell the truth. You're lying. I'm not lying to you, I swear. Well, I'm we're not gonna lying. sort never things lied, out tonight. Lying. We're going to sort things out tonight because we're going to have a little match. You and Styles there against Sting and Abyss, and it's going to be a ladder no, match. No, 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 no. I, I, can't, I can't even climb a ladder. i got a sore foot. i got an injured foot. After tonight, you're going to be an oxygen tent. Let me tell you something. We're going to hang a contract up over that ring for a match. You versus Abyss at Hard Justice. Now, if you were Styles there, if you get the contract, then you can tear it up. You never have to fight Abyss again. But if Abyss or Sting gets the contract, then you fight Abyss at Hard Justice, and he gets to pick the rules. Uh, Jim, I can't work like this. I can't work That's like this. Right. Can we well, talk what, about it? We'll talk it's about it later, like come tomorrow. On. I got stuff Jimbo, to do. come on. Thanks for I going. Can't do, I can't do a lot of that time. Come on. It's, uh, it's locked. It's locked. Hold on. Hey, Jim. It's locked. It's come locked. on, guys. Hey, 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 little girl. That's a toomey. That's coming out of your allowance. Now pick it back up. Let's go. Karen, let's go. Come on. I have stuff to do. Come on, little girl. Is that Angle's wife? Yeah. Nice belts. <laughs> hey, Tomko, maybe she can carry your toy belt, too. She looked like she was like five. She's a tall one, AJ. 
I know. Look at that! Look at what? That's Andrew Martin, formerly known as Test, making his way down the ramp. And we gotta wonder what's on his body. You see Tom going to look at this. He's helping out a Vincent Steve Oh no! Yes, he knocked up him, but Christian is there. And now Christian goes flying over the top. And there's the big move from Andrew Martin as he just took down Tom Cow. Oh, this is unreal. Think about it. But backs right up, pushes him aside. Here comes Styles off the top. Andrew Martin takes him off. Look at that strength. And there he goes. He throws AJ right into Tonto and Christian. Wow. There's no way to stop him from pulling it down now. Bodies, Christian's coalition stacked up out of the arena floor. And here goes Abyss to take it down. I think you're right, Don. There it is. Abyss takes down that contract. And Abyss, yes, his team's going to win this match. Thanks to Andrew Martin. Matchup we witnessed just moments ago, Sting, Abyss victorious in the ladder match, and Andrew Martin, welcome to TNA Wrestling. JB, let's just say the sides are now even. <sighs> I've been sitting at home for a long time watching while Christian Cage and his little cronies, Tonko and that wimp AJ Styles, run rampant here in TNA. Well, let's just say I picked my spot, because when you get a chance to work with a legend like Sting, and the future of the business, Abyss, you take it. And now that it's three on three, boys, I'm here to serve notice. There's a new enforcer in TNA, the Punisher, Andrew Martin. Trying to go through that opening where Sting cut the barbed wire at the top of the cage with those wire cutters, but now Sting cuts him off. Well, Sting did, he cuts him off, and now, Christian Cage has got an opening as he's trying to escape and get out. And he is, and you can see AJ Styles going right after him and Christian helping him out. Oh man, they're gonna leave Tom go. Oh, but AJ gets pulled back in. And isn't it just like Christian Cage, Mike? Of course it is. Christian escapes the cage and starts to back up the ramp as Styles is fired off into the corner by the Punisher, Andrew Martin. Oh, there is no chance as Tom goes knocked down. Look at this. Christian Cage is going to walk out and just leave the lambs to slaughter inside. Oh, what a chicken, you know what. You're not kidding at the same time, Don. That pick, oh, there it was. Black hole slammed by Abyss on Styles. Back first into the glass. And he's bleeding and it's over. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner is the Punisher, Andrew Martin, the Monster Abyss, and Sting. And in the process, Don, Abyss And we now know that Abyss gets the title shot against the winner of Samoa Joe and Kurt Angle. It was his brainchild, Mike. Think about it, how appropriate was it for Abyss to get the pin when he put the match together? But I still think of, of that coward, Christian Cage, getting out and then leaving his buddy He's in there. AJ Tomko, guys. Thanks for, for, for coming to my home this week and spending time with me while I'm weak. You know I sustained a massive head wound. Oh, AJ, thank you. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make the show this Thursday, guys. There's gonna be a lot of upset people in the impact zone, I know, I know. Thanks to Samoa Joe. This has gone further than a head injury. This has gone further than just wrestling. I, I'm afraid my... I'm actually afraid my livelihood might be taken away from me, AJ. What? My, what am I gonna tell my wife, huh? My wife, my four children, we got twins on the way. What? Your wife? 
I, I didn't see her. Where is she? She's, she, she's out shoveling the driveway, AJ. Shoveling? You live in Florida. <sighs> AJ, please. Not now. Guys, Sorry. my final request, Tomko. Just make me proud, okay, guys? Just... What is it? What is it? Just, Just make, me. make me proud. Tell us what to do. You say it'll be done. Take care of Samoa Joe. That's all I ask. Take care of him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Revenge is coming. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Tomko. Revenge is coming. Samoa Joe, get him. Yeah. Oh, kill him. Twins on the way, huh? Yeah. Don't worry, boss. I'll take care of it. Again. Guys. Oh, look at this! He's chased him right in here to the impact zone, Mike! And Samoa Joe is hot on the heels of AJ Styles! Oh, you're right, just when I was going to talk about the Steiners against Kurt Angle in the handicap match with the potential to see Karen Angle, we see Samoa Joe take AJ, throw him right into the steel guardrail, and now he's going to toss him back in the six-sided ring. I mean, he's taking the fight to them, and we don't know how badly he hurt Tomko, but he's got AJ Styles right now. Oh, what a clothesline! Absolutely creamed him, and you can just see the anger on the face of Joe as Tomko comes down the ramp and Joe's waiting on him. No question. Samoa Joe says, bring it on, Tomko, and here comes the big man. Wait a minute. He said he wasn't even going to be here at Impact tonight, and Christian Cage just hit the ring. Steel cheer shot to the back of Samoa Joe that laid him out. Oh, you've got to give Christian Cage credit. He had everybody thinking he wasn't here, and Samoa Joe fought into it. Look at that. The choke slam by Tomko. You're right. Double barrel, double throttle choke slam takes Samoa Joe down to the mat, and now Christian Cage directing traffic. Wait a minute. Oh, not no. now. Come on, not the concerto. No, he set him up right over the chair. He's defenseless. Christian Cage is scaring him. Oh, God! God, he just slammed the chair right on the head of Samoa Joe. Vicious, violent, steel chair shot to the back of the head, delivered by Christian Cage. The Kakina clutch of Samoa Joe gains him the victory over Raven, and now he wants a piece of AJ Styles. Oh, he went right after AJ Styles. Just put it in. Here comes Tonko. AJ's ain't a look at Joe. He's fired up. One right after another. Just look at the shot from the face of Tonko. Oh, no. Here's the ah! oh! Steel chair shot just walking him across the back as Christian Cage just laid out Samoa Joe. It's the numbers game. There was just too many of them, and they spaced it out as Christian Cage unseen just creams Samoa Joe. And now look at this. They're pulling out the handcuffs. Oh, no. They're going to handcuff Samoa Joe to the ropes to inflict more damage, Mike. This is disgusting. No question. All in an attempt. You're right. Inflict more damage. Weaken Samoa Joe prior to this Sunday at No Surrender when Christian Cage will face the Samoan submission machine. He's handcuffed. Tomko going to bring him up, and the steel chair is going to come into play again. Oh, and look at him using the pointed edge of the chair into the ribs. Oh. And now another shot on the back. And, oh, and you can see now the Samoan dancers coming out to the aid of Samoa Joe. I mean, the Samoan people, Don, by nature, they're so protective, so respectful of each other. And talk about a lack of respect. Look at this. Oh, that's just just wrong. Those guys have no experience in the ring whatsoever. Oh, and you can see the Christian coalition. And look at the anger in Joe's face as he wants a piece of them. He's saying they're helpless, and he can't believe what Christian no, King is doing. No way. No. Not by concerto. Tomko going to hold one of the dancers in place. He's helpless. Look out. Christian Cage and his coalition. Think of the mind games that Christian Cage is trying to play with Samoa Joe before he faces him at no surrender. I wonder if that's a good move because look at the anger on Samoa Joe's face. Samoa Joe, like a caged animal, handcuffed to the rope. Matt Morgan, you better get out here before I send Tom go back there to drag you out. You're calling out the seven-footer Matt Morgan, the man who has been right behind TNA management's Jim Cornette for the past several months. I'll tell you what, he's, that's an impressive uh, enforcer, I'll tell you that. And I mean, I don't know how wise this is because he was there, he came through, he kept the peace. And, and what's Christian Cage's beef with know. Big Matt Morgan? Basically, like I said, he wow. kept Samoa Joe from going back after him. Just want to have a little chit-chat with you, big fella.
You see, at No Surrender, I wrestled Samoa Joe. And at No Surrender, somewhere during that match, Samoa Joe realized something. And that's this, that he can't and never will be able to beat me. What? So what did Joe do, huh? What did Joe do? He went crazy. He flew off the handle. He got himself intentionally disqualified. Then he, then he lays out 10 guys. Then to top it all off, the kicker, he takes a T-shirt. He wraps it around my gorgeous neck. And he proceeded to hurl my body over the top ropes and hang me until every last breath was almost out of my body. Which brings me to you. Now I know that Jim Cornette is your boss, but let me fill you in on something. I am the one that runs this show. And it's like this, when you see your marquee attraction thrown over this ropes and being hung until he's almost lifeless, you do not wait five minutes to show up and do something about it. You make sure that it never happens. Right now, you're gonna get a crash course on what it's like to be the muscle. You're a big guy and we don't care how big you are. In case you can't count, there's three of us and one of you and it's going down right now. Uh-oh, here we go. Matt Morgan peels off the jacket, rips off the shirt, and he says, bring it on. Look out, Samoa Joe! Ah, here comes Samoa Joe out of nowhere! And he takes the side of Matt Morgan, and he goes right after Christian Cage, and he wants a piece of him. Oh, there goes AJ Styles, sent out to the floor, courtesy of Big Matt Morgan. Ditto for Tom Pelt, thanks to Samoa Joe! Don't go anywhere. The coalition, unbelievable. At Bound for Glory, Cage, in your mask versus Samoa Joe, oh yeah, there's gonna be a special enforcer. And that special enforcer is gonna be the seven foot tall Matt Morgan. Whoa, oh, there is gonna be a rematch. Wait a second. You can't just appoint yourself an official. You can't appoint yourself an enforcer. Who the hell said so, huh? Who the hell said so? I did, that's who, Christian! That's Jim Cornette, where's he at? He's up at the top of the ramp! Matt Morgan is gonna be the special enforcer at Bound for Glory so you don't get away with any of your shenanigans and falderall when you wrestle the Samoan submission machine! Oh, everybody oh, wants oh. to see it finished. They want to see and it finished. speaking of Samoans, you made your little Samoan challenge Well, I did my work. I have your opponent for next week. Allow me to introduce him. What? Ladies and gentlemen, Cage's opponent for next week on Impact Junior Batu. Can you believe it? The man formerly known as Rikishi is in TNA, and next week it's Junior Batu against Christian Cage. Christian, be careful. Be Get all this, because it took me all day to sit. Hey, you know what? Uh, grass skirt, we're going to put this on, because when our Christian comes in, I want him to see you okay. all dressed up. Nicely done. Okay. That's what I like. What's going on, okay. guys? Hey, Christian! <laughs> you're early! You're okay. early! Yeah, hey, uh, uh, celebration, because you're wrestling one of the biggest, baddest Samoans ever, and I wanted to keep the theme going with a big luau. <laughs> look, look at all this stuff. It's great. Oh, oh. Put your lay on. Christian, uh, hey, Tom, go get your lay on. Oh, it doesn't matter. Look, hey, you know, look at all this stuff. Uh, Got bananas. Yeah. You know what nice. we should do? What? Fill them with our toes, just like the Samoans do. Hey, watch this. Hey, okay, okay. Look, man. Tonight, you're facing one half of the tag team champions. One half our opponents at Bound for Glory. I know, I know. You know what, buddy? I am dead serious. I want us to win the TNA Tag Team Championships. Do you? Yes, yes, that's Look, it. Man, get the bananas out of your hand, the hat off your head, and come on. All right, I've got one coming. I'm coming. Last week, I told Jim Cornette to find me the biggest, baddest Samoan that he could find. Mission accomplished. Because you found Fatu. 
you know something? I know your credentials fat too. I know how good you are. I know how talented you are. But unfortunately, you've caught me at a bad time. Because when I look at you, all I see is Samoa Joe. And you found yourself somewhere that you don't want to be right now. And that's in the ring with the best, with the champ. Samoa Joe, I want you to watch real closely tonight. Watch real close, because I'm going to do to Fatu exactly what I'm going to do to you at Bound for Glory. I am the instant classic Christian Cage. I've never been pinned, and I've never been submitted. And at Bound for Glory, that does not change. AJ, Christian, assume the position. Oh man, they're helpless in these corners. Which one is he gonna go to first? As you see Junior Fatu sizing up the situation. And here he goes towards AJ. What a pleasant dilemma that is. Oh. Is he gonna be Sting Face A for the phenomenal AJ Styles? Or maybe you'll like this one better. You ready for Stink Face B? AJ Styles flopping around like a chicken with his head cut off. And now you can see Stink Face oh, yeah. B and Christian Cage. And man, what a visual. And he applies it perfectly on the face of Christian Cage. And if Tonko had come over, oh, and he comes over just in time. Tonko viciously, violently hits the ring. Clubbing blows, big shots to the back, has dropped Junior Fatu, and now Tonko puts the boots to him, and Christian and AJ join in. Well, it's the numbers game now, as Christian's coalition is all ganging up right now on Junior Fatu, but here he comes! Samoa Joe, and they don't even see him! One shot for Tonko, one for AJ, and look at him clean house! Now, attention turn to Christian Cage, and oh, Joe just decks him. Get him, Joe. Get him before bound for glory. Look at Christian Bale. You can see him kicking out Tonka now. What a headbutt. And he sends him to Junior Fatu, and there's a headbutt. And another, and oh my gosh, the double team on Tonko, and you can see he can't get out of the ring fast enough. You ever seen Tonko use like a ping pong ball between the headbutts from Samoa Joe and Junior Fatu? Bound for glory, Samoa Joe versus Christian Cage with Matt Morgan as enforcer. There must be a winner. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live from Studio 21 on the grounds of the world-famous Universal Studios in beautiful Orlando, Florida, the soon-to-be number one rated talk show in all of cable TV, chatting with the champ. Please rise to your feet and give a big Impact Zone welcome to our host, the instant classic, Christian Cage, and co-hosted by the phenomenal AJ Styles. Well, tonight, it's the debut of Christian's new talk show, Chatting with the Champ. But this Sunday, it's not talking that will win the match when he faces Samoa Joe. The highly anticipated return match from No Surrender. And this time, there must be a winner, seven-footer Matt Morgan, special enforcer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. And this show... It's to give superstars the forum to come on out here, stand in the ring, and chat with the champ. This is a show that's gonna, that's gonna ask the tough questions, and it's gonna get the tough answers. You might be asking yourself, what's with the set? What's going on with the set? This doesn't look like your style. Well, tonight, on the very first episode, we have a special theme for a very special guest. Now, some people might say that I'm crazy for wanting this guy on my show, considering, well, he probably wants to kill me. Well, I say it's time for us to set all the cards out on the table. And who knows? Who knows? He might not even want to show up and face the champ. Well, he just had his question answered. As Samoa Joe comes out here, Mike, I can hardly wait till this Sunday at Bound for Glory with Matt Morgan as a special enforcer. There finally has to be a winner between these two. And when you look back at the history, Mike, of this feud, on how these two, with both of them having their similar streaks, it is time for them to match up. And this time, one of them's coming out victorious. You recall it, no surrender. Samoa Joe snapped. He was disqualified. One thing for certain, this Sunday at Bound for Glory, Samoa Joe is going to uphold the pride, the tradition of the Samoan people when there must be a winner against Christian Cage. Joe, Joe. 
Welcome to the islands, brah. Huh? Huh? What are you thinking, huh? How does it look? How does it look? Hey, Joe, I'm glad you came out here. Look, I want to I wanna kind of put our differences to the side for a minute. I told you, this is going to be a forum. I'm going to ask tough questions, and I want to get some answers, so I'm going to get right to it and just ask you straight up. You and I are going to go one-on-one -on -one at Bound for Glory. And there must be a winner. Now, this will be our third contest in a singles match. Like I said, this will be the third time you and I have competed in a singles match. And what I want to know is, you have yet to beat me. So what I want to ask you is, what's your strategy? Have you changed things up? Have I got inside your head? What's going on, huh? You know what? This show's been on the air for two minutes, and you're already boring me out of my mind. I mean, you're not even trying anymore, Christian. What is this? What is this? This, this is the Christian of old. This is the classic, witty, funny, mind game playing Christian. You're not even trying anymore. What, you got coconuts? Coconuts? Hey, 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 the snooker thing's a little cliche. You got Woody from Cheers behind the bar. You got your cute little tiki shade on the ground. I'll tell you what, Christian. You know what? Maybe some people here find you funny. Maybe even a few people here, they might even find you witty. But if there's one universal truth, if there's one thing that I know that we all can agree on, is at the end of the day, Christian, you're just a Man, talk about having somebody pegged. He's read him just like a book. You know something, Joe? Let's get one thing straight, okay, before we go any further. This is my show, and I don't appreciate you cutting me off, and I don't appreciate you coming out here and disrespecting me. Then why don't you do something about it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Hillbilly Isaac, get back behind the bar before I put you back behind the bar. Oh, hey, 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 hey. whoa, whoa. Hey, AJ, just get back, just get back behind the bar. This isn't gonna happen, all right? Hey, this isn't an episode of Jerry Springer, all right? You just calm down, there's not gonna be any furniture flying. This set will not be ruined, okay? I'm giving you the forum, the opportunity to come out here and talk to the champ on the highest rated segment of this show. Not to mention the fact, do you know how many yard sales I had to rummage through to find this crap to make it seem like your island home? Did you? And all I want to do, Joe, is come out here, put our differences aside, and ask you about Bound for Glory. Bound for Glory. You want to know about Bound for Glory? I'll tell you about Bound for Glory. You see, at Bound for Glory, your winning streak ends. At Bound for Glory, I break you. And more importantly, Christian, win, lose, or draw. At Bound for Glory, I will put you in the hospital. I said, hey. All right, just, this is getting out of hand. It's exactly what I didn't want, okay? Look, who said anything about a hospital, okay? Let's not talk about putting people in the hospital, okay? I'm here to put our differences aside, okay? Because at the end of the day, at Bound for Glory, whatever happens, Joe, I'm gonna look you right in the eyes right now and tell you, I respect you. Respect could be nothing further from the truth than you respect Samoa Joe. You know, I'm not people. even joking around. I mean, AJ, pour, pour, pour us a couple drinks. Pour us a couple drinks. I'm gonna prove it right now. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you right now. Come on, AJ, speed it up. Let's go. Your tip's dwindling. Let's go. Joe, right here. On the first edition of my show, raise your glass, because I'd like to propose a toast. I'd like to propose a toast to Samoa Joe versus Christian Cage at Bound for Glory. There must be a winner. And I'd like to propose a toast to Samoa Joe versus Christian Cage at Bound for Glory, stealing the damn show. I can't wait. Clink, clink. Bottoms up, my friend. He's had all he can stand. Look at this. He's tearing the setup as he just grabs AJ Styles and slings him over the table. Look at the headbutt. You 
can't blame Samoa Joe for his actions, at least not in my mind. You talk about a feud, a rivalry that was fueled by lack of respect, and yeah, there's your ukulele shot, AJ. Well, it just bounced off of it like a rubber ball, and now look at Joe walking over there. You know, he decided to attack first because of his mind. He knew Christian Cage was going to do something that you see the special enforcer, Matt Morgan, and look at him take control and headbutt AJ Styles outside the ring. Now that's the way that you lay down the law, and that's exactly what Jim Cornette had in mind when the TNA management director named Matt Morgan as a special enforcer, and look at Joe continue the assault. Well, he just follows Christian Cage right up the ramp, goes and grabs him, and you see Matt Morgan hauling AJ Styles out of here, and throws Christian Cage right back in the ring and continues the onslaught. It looks like now he's looking for anything and everything to destroy. Oh, wait a minute. I think that was salt, the margarita salt that he threw in Joe's face. Well, you can say that Samoa Joe's been blinded, at least temporarily, and Christian has picked up a coconut and he just cracked him right in the head. Just busted the coconut right on Joe's head, and you can see Joe. Oh, look at this. He's continuing it. One shot after another to the back of the head, to the back. He's just pummeling him unmercifully. Christian has the upper hand tonight. But Sunday at Bound for Glory, there must be a winner. Matt Morgan, special enforcer, when Christian faces Joe. Can you imagine? What's this? What a fight. Oh, oh, man. Big shot by Styles. You're right. Here it is. Picks him up. Got him up. Look out for the double team. Oh, what a combination. They just corkscrewed him into the ground. Yeah. He's done. New champ. New champ. Styles later on tonight in an eight-man tag team match. The two of you are going to team up with Kurt Angle and the instant classic Christian Cage. My question for you both is, can everybody get along? <laughs> I got this. As team captain, I'm here to let everyone know that me, Tom Coe, Kurt Angle, and Christian Cage will all be working as a unit. Yeah, like a well-oiled machine working on all four cylinders. No problems, no worries. You know that whole all for one, one for all thing, that's gonna happen. We're like a family. Like, I don't, like the Waltons, you know? Uh, well, you, well, guess what, John boy? Kurt and Christian hate each other. Uh, who told you that? Come on. Everybody sees well, it. Look, all we gotta do is get together. I mean, look at it like this. Paris Hilton, Nicole Richie, back together. Yeah, who would've, who would've thought? David Lee Roth, Eddie Van Halen, back together. It's not a big deal. We just need to sit down and talk about oh, it. God. You know what? Too much TMZ. Too much TMZ. Tell you what, let's go see if we can get them and get them together because we got a match. I know. Well, let's go. Please. I'm begging you, man. Please go talk no to him. No way, AJ. Please go I'm talk to Christian. and meet with I... Cage, okay? Let's but... just deal with it when we get out there. That's it. Deal with it when we get out there? Yeah. Uh, do you know who we're wrestling? Samoa Joe? Abyss? Scott Steiner? Kaz, maybe you remember the, yeah, maybe you remember this guy. <laughs> Look, we gotta talk about it. We gotta sit there and talk about this, or they're gonna kill us. We gotta get together, talk about this. Talk about what? Oh god. You're with the Angle Alliance now, AJ. What? Both you and Tomko. There's nothing to talk about. Hold on a second. Karen said I can be on both teams. Well, you 
You know what I mean, both teams. Karen said it was okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Karen, you said that AJ and Tomko could be on both teams. I did what I had to do to take care of business. Yes, I said it. See? Well, then I know who's going to talk to Christian. You're going to talk to Christian. I'm not going yes, to talk to Christian. Right no, now. I'm Let's not. Go. No, I'm you not. You got us into this mess. You're getting us out. Let's go. Kurt, I am Come not on, Miss no, Fritz. Come to on, Miss Fritz. I'll go. I'm not talking to him. You're crazy. See? Told you everything would be okay. Oh, yeah, man. Everything's great. It's working. I'm nervous. I tried to talk to him. He wasn't listening, and I've got to pee, okay? Listen, I, hey, I know you got to pee, but hold it, all right? Listen, now that we're all family here, you know, you guys, me and the Angles, you got to listen to me. Karen Angle taught me something about TCB. That's taking care of business. The four C's. Listen, casually, cool, calm, and collected. You got to be relaxed when you go in there and talk to him. You got to breathe in, got to breathe deep. Ready? See, don't you feel better already? A little bit. Yeah. But I'd feel better if Tomko went in first. Right, he's got to go in first. Okay. Super. Yeah. Okay. He's on the phone. He's on the phone. Let me call you back. Let me call you back, man. Bye. 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 Christian, hey, buddy. Hey, man, I, I tried to... Get your damn hands off me. Get your, get your hands off me. What? Don't get on my face. You two make me sick. The both of you. Three weeks, huh? It takes you three weeks to get the guts to come and face me? Uh, you had your chance last week, AJ, in the triple threat match, huh? But you ran away from me. And not only did you do that, you stole the win from me, then ran away again. No, I, no, I, I, yes, you did. I didn't mean to, though. You know what? It doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter. I want to know, what the hell were you thinking, huh? You told me not to think. Is that right? So now we're just going to stand here and point fingers, huh? That's going to solve this problem? You know something? I put you in charge. I made you the captain, and you screwed it up. Me too. Yes, you did. But you know something? I'm glad I. I'm, I'm glad I haven't spoken to either one of you by now, because you know what? It could have gotten. It could have. It could have gotten really ugly, and it was gonna. Too. But the thing is, I realized something. I had a moment of clarity, and I realized this: that I don't need the two of you. The two of you need me. You need the champ. So guess what, guys? Guess what? I hope you're happy with your decision. I hope you're happy, AJ. Because as of now, as of this day, the Christian Coalition is no more. We are finished. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. No, come on now. Don't look. I'm not your boss anymore. Yes, AJ. you are. No, I'm not. No. Hit the bricks. Get out of here. No. Look, go get some lip gloss no, 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 on no. or whatever and go kiss Kurt's no, ass. No, it's with you. not like, look. I'm done. No, no, no. Both of you guys are my boss. I mean, uh, I mean, back in the day, I worked for my Aunt B's uh, biscuit barn. She was my boss, and my dad across the street had a hardware AJ, store, and he was my AJ, boss, and AJ, they were cool AJ, with AJ, it. AJ, AJ, I'm what? not your dad. I look at you kind of like a father figure, though. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Then let me ask you this. Would you embarrass your father the way that you embarrassed me? I, I didn't mean to. AJ. I didn't mean we're to. We're done. No, Christian, please. Oh, oh, man, come on, man. We'll switch some pictures in your office, man. I'll do anything. I'm so, I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. Tom goes, no, let's let's get, 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 I got a deep. Get a grip. All right, you're embarrassing yourself. I'll do anything. Listen, okay, right? you want, okay, you want to do something? Yeah. You can do something, actually. Now that I think about it, do this. Okay. All right, I actually wouldn't mind talking to Kurt Angle. So why okay. don't you go run along, find your other boss, bring him here, and tell him he's got two minutes to explain to me what's going on. Okay. Right now? Right now, go. Okay, hey, okay, I'll get Karen. I'll get Karen. Did he just say he's going to get Karen? Yeah, yeah, Kurt said he's not going to meet with you. Son of a Up next, Booker T makes his impact in-ring debut against Robert Roode. Throughout tonight's Impact broadcast, AJ Styles has been trying to arrange a meeting between the Alliance and the Coalition. Now let's check out the summit. I now call to order the Christian Coalition, the Angle Alliance. All present, please say aye. Aye. Thank you, Jeremy. Aye. Thanks, buddy. Aye. Aye. Sweet. Now, we are all gathered here tonight in agreement to work as a team for the betterment, not only for the people in this room, but for TNA and mankind as a whole. So, with that being said, Karen, Christian, 
Please shake hands. <laughs> Karen, you said I can be on both teams. Come on. Christian, at one point in time you said I was like a son to you. I'm just saying. Please, guys. Karen. Now, with the power vested in me, I now present to you the coalition, the alliance, a team. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I told you! Freaking told you it worked! Yes! Hey, you know what? Group hug. How about that? Group hug. Come on, guys. Come on. Right. Come on, Tom Cole. You come here, big guy. Yeah! It works! Yes! All right. Hey, you know what? Let's go get ready for a match. Let's go. Everybody, let's go. Come on. You guys go ahead. I'm going to stick around here and I want to talk to Karen about some business here, real quick. Oh. All right. Go hey, ahead. share the love, baby. Come on, Tom Cole. Big meanie. Come on. Listen to me for a second. Get one thing straight. Tonight, I'm going out there for one reason, and one reason only. That's to win. That's what I always do. I'm a winner. You got that? Business is business, right? Isn't that what you always say? Get one thing else straight. Let's get one thing clear. If you or Kurt try to screw me in any way, it's gonna be the worst thing that either one of you could ever do. Nobody plays the champ. You understand me? Nobody. I understand. Good. Now get your hands off me. He's trying to take his knee out, and there's the black hole slammed by Abyss on Angle. He went right into it, but now he's got Tomko in the jokes. Look at this. Tomko just picks him up and choke slams him down. Scott Steiner in, and Big Papa Pump just T-boned Tomko. And here we go. Oh, what a move by Christian Cage on Big Papa Pump. Inverted DDT by Christian, and then Wave of the Future by Kaz on Cage. Look and look at this inverted DDT by AJ Styles. How smooth and he hits it. AJ, premature celebration. Joe from behind with the rear naked choke, but then Christian cut him off. You can see Christian Cage motioning to AJ Styles to help him as they go for the double team. But they telegraph it, and Joe's able to get back to momentum. Wait a minute. Here comes the unprettier. Oh, the Pele. But it's on Cage. He missed Samoa Joe. Intended for Joe, but the knockout blow to Christian Cage. AJ close line to the floor. Here comes the muscle buster. Can he hit it this time? He's got him up. Oh, and he slams him hard. Cover. One, two, three. Samoa Joe's done it. And now we know why Kevin Nash and Scott Hall have enlisted the services of the Samoan submission machine. Samoa Joe to be their partner this Sunday at Turning Point against Styles, Tom Cohen, Angle. You don't want to miss this Sunday. So many great matchups. One of them will be the match of 10,000 tags as we see the Monster Abyss. In addition to that, while Scott Steiner raises his hands in victory, he will be one of 15 men in the Feaster Fired match. Christian, I waited long enough. I am the TNA World Heavyweight Champion, and the champion doesn't wait for anyone. So Christian, you know where I stand. So what's it gonna be? Are you with us or are you against us? Well, I think we're gonna get our answer from Christian Cage accompanied by Robert Roode. And when we heard from Robert Roode and Christian earlier, it sounded like Robert Roode With the Angle Alliance, we become a powerhouse overnight. There's power in numbers. I'm not exactly sure that the instant classic is ready to buy in quite yet. You know, it's, it's amazing that Robert Roode was being the logical one in this situation, but you can see Christian Cage has a problem with authority. He always wants to be the one in control. Look at Kurt. I'm gonna make this short and sweet. I'm gonna get right to the point here, okay? As a businessman, Robert Roode understands that there's power in numbers, okay? 
I mean, look at my bank account. So at this time, Kurt Angle, I would like to officially accept your offer in uniting as one. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Well, Robert Roode feels that this is the best way for him to move forward, and he jumps into the Angle Alliance invitation. Handshakes all around. What's it going to be, Christian? Well, he wants the mic. You know that. You see, Bobby. Doesn't like that's to be where Bobby. you and I are different. See, you need these three right here. I, on the other hand, do not. It's like this, Kurt. All of a sudden, you want to be my friend, huh? You want to be my teammate. You even want to be my buddy, like, like Brady and Moss, like Owens and Romo, huh? Let me tell you something, Kurt. I think it's more like this. It's like the old saying goes, you keep your friends close, but you keep your enemies closer. You see, Kurt, you walk around and you play the aloof guy real well, but I know behind those beady little eyes that you're a conniving son of a Whoa. Wow. Whoa. And you also know that if I'm on your team, that I'm not opposing you on the other side of the ring because you know this also, Kurt, I am the biggest threat to that World Heavyweight Championship that sits real pretty on your shoulder. The Instant Classic is the real World Heavyweight Champion. If you don't believe him, just ask him. Tomko, you make me sick to my stomach. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. You were a prison guard working at some crappy prison somewhere for peanuts until I found you. You were in poverty. You were almost bankrupt. You couldn't even support your family. But I saw something in you. I took you in under my wing. I made you into somebody. I made you a ton of money. Your wife and your kid ought to be thanking me for putting food on your table. With me, you were a somebody. Without me, you're what you always were, a nobody. Maybe he was just tired of being in his shadow. AJ, you, you, I saw the most potential in you. More potential than I've ever seen in anybody in my entire life. Second to none inside this ring. But outside of it, you are lacking substance. You're afraid to talk in front of a crowd. You can barely formulate two sentences until you came to me. I made you comfortable. I made you who you are. I made you a star. I molded you in my image. You said to me, I was like a father to you. Well, you know something, AJ? I am not your blood father. And if I was, I would disown you. Oh, wow. Look at the look on AJ's face. He just looks up to him so much. I'm going to lay it on the line for you guys right now. I'm going to lay it on the line. You all, you all, every single one of you, you all need me to be somebody. And if you want me to be, shut your mouth. Do what you do best and stand behind a man. You guys want me to be a part of your team? You want me to be a part of this team? Fine, I'll be a part of this team under one condition. I am the leader. Wow, I thought Angle had a big ego. 
I think Christian that stopped means him. You all toe the line behind me. You do as I say. You follow my orders. When I say jump, AJ, you say how high. That includes you, Kurt Angle. No way does Kurt Angle but go with this. But I guess the real question is this. Are you ready to admit in front of the entire world that you are nowhere near the man that Christian Cage is? That's the Olympic gold medalist. That's a TNA world champion. He's holding up the hand. Look at the look Kurt Angle's giving him. He can't even believe Christian Cage would have the goal to even offer this. You've got to be kidding, Christian. Is Angle considering this? No way. Unbelievable. What? I mean, that handshake, Don, it was, it was a little reluctant, but he just did it. He just, he just made a deal with Christian Cage. Is he allowing Christian Cage to be the leader? Christian Cage claims that he's going to be the leader of this group, but now it's Angle in to separate them and try and be the voice of reason. Well, Kurt Angle moves out of the way. He understands that that's what a leader's got to do. It's just, it's just, he's just used to being the one to take care of things. And uh -oh, he's just uh -oh. and Cage again and starting to get physical here. Well, oh, 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 oh. Kurt Angle just caught him with the championship belt right in the back of the head. I'll tell you. Well, he said it was time for Tonko to be Tonko. He's just going to sit back, I think, and let the cards fall where they will. And he'll make his choice from there as Tonko just walked out of the picture. We saw absolute unity, Don, from the winning team here. But boy, this thing is just exploded. This team is imploded. And Angle's beating on Christian Cage. Angle's got the ankle lock on Christian. And AJ's trying to pull him off. You know what I hate? I hate indecision. That's somebody that's unable or unwilling to make a decision and stick to that decision. Let me give you an example. Let me paint you a little picture. There's three ways in this life to attain greatness. Some achieve greatness. Some have greatness thrust upon them. And there's a select few that were born great. You see, I am one of those select few. And this is where I'm going with this. I made a conscious decision at a young age to embrace my greatness, to revel in it. And now I stand before you, the biggest star in this company. I stand before you, the instant classic Christian Cage. I stand before you, a two-time world heavyweight champion. I stand before you as simply the champ. So now, Tonko, AJ, the time has come where the two of you have to make a decision. It's like this. TNA is not big enough for Christian Cage and Kurt Angle. So what I want you two to do is to come down this ramp right here, right now, and I'm not asking you, I'm telling you to let me know exactly where your loyalties lie. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. It is decision time. It is the moment of truth for the phenomenal AJ Styles and, well, conspicuous by his absence, Tomko. We all know the history between them and Christian. Cage brought Tomko into the wrestling business years ago 
and to hear the instant classic Christian Cage tell it, he single-handedly made the career of the phenomenal AJ Styles. Yeah, AJ, I see that you're here. Uh, did you forget to bring something with you? The big guy with the long goatee kind of looks like a goat, Tomko. Is he coming? Um, we came in together. Um, I, don't, I don't know where he is, boss. He, we came in whoa, together. Whoa, hold on a second. Did you just call me boss? Yeah. AJ, do you know what the definition of a boss is? Let me fill you in. A boss is somebody that you look up to, somebody that you show loyalty to, somebody that you respect, AJ, somebody that you would take a bullet for. I would take a bullet for you. I would, I would take a bullet for you right AJ, now. AJ, 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 en enough. Enough, all right, listen. I don't know how many times I have to have this talk with you before it's gonna sink into your brain. I don't know how many more times, how many different ways I can say the same thing over and over and over again, AJ. Everything you have in this business is because of me. Oh, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. All the TV time that you get is because of me. Every pay-per-view that you get is because of me. Every week when you go home and you run down to the mailbox, you open it up, you pull out the envelope, open it up, and pull out that big fat check that you're about to go deposit in the bank is because of me. AJ, AJ, that tag team title that sits pretty on your shoulder, that's because of me. AJ, the two World Heavyweight Championships. Three, I had three, three World Champ. Three. The three World Championships that you've held. I mean, I know it was a few years before I got to TNA, but I'm just gonna throw this out there. I'm gonna take credit for it, it was because of me. Now, how could that be possible? Don't worry about that right now, I'll talk to you about it later, okay? But for right now, look at me when I tell you this, I'm telling you this with all sincerity, AJ. Kurt Angle is using you. You're his punching bag, you're his fall guy. Me, on the other hand, AJ, AJ. I well, you had to expect that the negative comments directed towards Kurt Angle would bring the Olympic gold medalist out to provide his side of the story. And here comes the TNA World Heavyweight Champion with wife Karen headed down to the ring. You could just see the confliction on the face of AJ Styles. A decision has got to be made. His own partner, Tomko, even informed him that a decision's got to be made. He's still convinced, Mike. He is still just sure, deep in his soul, that he can play on both teams. Are you kidding me? Using AJ? What am I using AJ? For what? For muscle? I'm an Olympic gold medalist, and I did that on my own. What am I using him for? For brains? No, I'm not. Because I happen to be the most intelligent man in TNA. Isn't that right, baby? So the way I see it, the only one that's been using him is you. Which means AJ's coming with me. Let's go, AJ. Come on. Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on, hold on. I think AJ's made his decision. I think he's made it pretty clear. AJ's staying here and he's staying with me. Hold on a second. AJ's big enough to make his own decision. He's coming with me. Yeah, he's coming with me. He's coming. Oh, both Angle and Christian trying to make the decision for AJ and you knew this had to happen. Oh, once they connected, it was gonna set off the spark and Christian Gage has a championship oh. belt. But Angle ducks and he creams AJ Styles. Oh my God. Knocked him out with the championship belt and then look at Angle get right back on Christian. Oh, then these two, they just cannot stand to be in the same space as each other. And here comes Tomko. Tomko pulls Kurt Angle off. Tomko keeps Christian Cage from connecting and look at him. He's all of a sudden the man of reason. Tomko acting as the peacemaker, separating both Kurt Angle and Christian Cage. Thanks for showing up, Tomko, right on time. When your little buddy here wakes up, 
Let them know that both of you have a decision to make, and I want it by the end of tonight. Christian Cage putting a time limit on the decision for AJ Styles and Tomko. He wants to know where their loyalties lie, and he wants an answer tonight. You tell them right now, AJ. You tell the whole world, and you tell Kurt Angle that you are coming with Christian Cage. Tell them. You ain't doing nothing with Christian Cage because you're with the Angle Alliance now. Tell him. AJ, I told you that it's time for you to make a decision. Make the right Come one. Come on, AJ. Come with me. Make your the decision Olympic now. Classic. Come the on, AJ. Real. Hurry up. We're short on time. Be a real man. Come with me. The Olympic gold medalist. Don't want that one, Jim. Oh, we'll see you next Come week, week on Impact. We hope to get his answer then. That's right, Tonko. I demanded then you come out here and give me an answer. Kurt Angle doesn't wait for anybody. I'm tired of you and AJ playing games. I'm three days away from one of the most important matches of my career. The TNA World Heavyweight Championship against Christian Cage at Final Resolution. Now you're supposed to be one of my soldiers, right? What kind of army is this? This is the Angle Alliance. No, I demand right now, I want you to look me right in my eyes. And you tell me, are you with me or are you without me? Well, Kurt, I, uh, I guess you're right, man. I, I, I do need to give a decision as to if I'm with you or not. Uh, I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, I had made my mind up a few weeks ago, but heck, you know, you kind of uh, do something in my mind there when you talk about the Army. Because, you know, to me, I'm, I'm patriotic, and uh, the Army, to me, it means respect. It means loyalty. It means family. I mean, uh, actually, I could go a little further and say that uh, it actually could, it could go as far as to say that, uh, you know, would I take a bullet for the guy next to me in the foxhole? So what you're really asking me is, would I take a bullet for you or Christian. Hmm, wow. You know, in that situation, stick it up your ass. In that situation, Kurt, I think, uh, I think I'd be something like an outlaw. I think I'd take a bullet for Tomko. And uh, if you and Christian went down in a blaze of glory, it probably wouldn't hurt my feelings. Well, you know what? You've got to respect that. Tomko wants to be his own man. Tomko's for Tomko. So, what are you saying? Ooh. I guess I need to clear it up a little bit for you. What I'm saying is this. I am not with the Angle Alliance, nor am I with the Christian Coalition. I'm with Tomko, and uh, I'll give you uh, one guess as to who makes the decisions for Tomko. Me. Well, it's obvious Tomko's made his decision. You gotta wonder how that's gonna play with AJ Styles now as he has to make his. All right, man. I don't agree with your decision, but I can respect it. Well, there it is, the handshake and respect from the TNA World Heavyweight Champion, Kurt Angle, towards Tomko. Well, it's obvious that Karen Angle's not happy about this. And wait a minute, Angle just charged after him Kurt, and Tomko got him by the throat. You know, because of our history, for that little stunt, my friend, you'll get a pass. But let me remind you of something, and I want you to think about it and keep it in that little beanie of yours. The very next time you decide to put your hands on me, I will break that puny little neck of yours Permanently. Wow, powerful words from a powerful man. Tomko demanding respect tonight. AJ, show's almost over. We need an answer. I promise everybody an answer. We need an answer. Brother, come on, AJ, please. You want my answer? Yes. We all want your answer. Yes. You can do it. It's okay. Christian, I'm going with Christian. All right. It's official. He's going with the Christian Coalition. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, 
I changed it. I'm going with Kurt. I'm going with Kurt. Are you sure? I'm going with Kurt. Are you sure? Kurt, yes. All right, the decision is Kurt Angle and the Angle Alliance. Congratulations. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going with Kangle. What? Who? Who? I don't even. Oh, oh, I don't, I, just shut up. Just everybody shut up. Look, at final resolution, you'll have an answer, okay? It, I, it'll be the right choice. Now, everybody, get out of my granny's house and take these chips to Angle tapped out to the ankle locket. He's made his decision. He's made his decision, and the crowd roars as AJ Styles embraces Christian Cage. He came out. Look at this. Wow. Oh, my God. He just killed Christian in the back, and that gets Kurt Angle a chance at the Olympic Slam. He turned on him. One, two, no. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner is still the TNA. Christian Cage, think back to those coalition days in Steady Went Springboard. Caught him from behind, caught him unaware with that shot to the back, and Angle takes advantage of it just like that. And you know what this proves to me? It proves to me that AJ Styles influenced by this combination, the combination of the ability of Kurt Angle, get in line with him, but also Karen Angle, female car. You just can't do this. You can't, Kurt. You can't do this. Look. Last week, you're trying to get Tomko part of the Angle Alliance. That's great. That made perfect sense. This doesn't. Down tonight, you're going to fight him? It doesn't make any sense at all. Look at the position you're putting me in. Oh, I, can't... I don't give a damn about the position I'm putting you in. I'm your boss, AJ. Me. The Kurt Angle rub is what finally got you noticed here well, at TNA. I... What? You I... heard me. Are you kidding me? I was TNA champ. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. You were TNA champion, right? Yeah, <laughs> That's a yeah. joke. You were a TNA champion when it was a startup company. They didn't even have a full roster, AJ. I was not TNA champion just once. No, twice. Three times I was AJ, TNA champion. AJ, no, AJ, back relax. off, Karen. Don't touch my wife. I'm telling you right now, if you try to help Tonka out tonight, not only am I going to kick your okay. I'm going to kick your Now get the hell out of my locker room. I'm out of here, man. Not even in the... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The instant classic, Christian Cage picked up the TNA World title belt off the broadcast table, and he just cracked Kurt Angle over the head with the championship belt. And Tonko never saw it. Where's AJ? And AJ's down on the ground, he never saw it. And you can see he's got him pinned here. AJ coming in reluctant. Oh, he doesn't know it. Neither one of them realized that Kurt Angle's been trained by he's that one. belt. And again, you can see him right in Tomko's face telling him. Two. He hesitates again in two. He says, please, Tomko, don't make me count three. Is he going to do it? You can hear Tomko. Three. Yes. He counted him out. Here's winner, oh, but you're right. AJ didn't see what Christian did, and neither did Tomko. And check out Karen Angle. Oh, she's livid. She just slapped AJ in the head. Tomko's on his own, and the Angle Alliance is falling apart right before our eyes. And now Karen Angle's going over to Tomko and explaining to him that it was Christian Cage that hit Karen Angle with the title belt, and you can see he's upset when she's telling him. Tomko's just trying to figure out what just happened. Let's try and get an explanation from Christian Cage. Let's send it to Crystal. Christian, Christian, but we just saw hold you on. Hold on, hold on a second. Tomko said he wants to do what's best for Tomko. So do I. What's going on? Did you hear what Christian Cage just said? Tomko wants to do what's best for Tomko, and so do I. Wait a minute! Tomko! Tomko! Tomko's gonna stop it! Stops it! Pulls the chair! Tomko, an angle! Is he gonna hit him? Wait a minute! What? What? What, what the hell is this? What is going on here? What? You've gotta be kidding me! What the hell just happened? Angle doesn't even believe it. Tomko just came out. Angle's reviving the referee. What did Tomko just do? He just turned on Christian and cost him a victory. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still TNA heavyweight champion of the world, Kurt Angle. What, what just happened here? Tomko came out. It looked like he was going to help Christian Cage. The same Tomko who embraced who hugged Christian on impact this past Thursday. Obviously, he's still up. I just can't figure this out. 
Why on earth would he help Kurt Angle after this? Unbelievable as you see Kurt celebrating with that championship belt in the ring. I don't have any answers for you either. Ladies and gentlemen, Tomko may be for Tomko, but for whatever reason, tonight and against all odds, Tomko was for Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle remains TNA World Heavyweight Champion. God, I never saw that coming. Tomko, four days ago at Against All Odds, you shocked the world when you severed the five-year relationship you had with Christian Cage by blatantly screwing him in the World Heavyweight title match Is that against how you Kurt see Angle. It? Is that how you see it? Because that's not how I see it. See, what I see is five years of Cage behind my back like a little monkey just hanging on. And that whole five years he's been telling me the whole time, hey, hey, Tomko, listen, I'm going to make you into a star. Well, I didn't need him, Crystal. I'm a star on my own. And you know what else that's real cute? Besides him sticking his nose in my business last week when I had Kurt B, it's real cute that him and Joe are together. Well, let me tell you this. Finally and forever, me and Christian Cage are over. The other half of that double main event will take place also inside the six sides of steel. It'll be two teams of four men in one of the most dangerous matches in all of professional wrestling, the lethal lockdown match. The top of the cage is lowered, laced with weapons. You can use them to your heart's content, and the winning team will be the team that scores the very first pinfall. And right now, I would like to introduce the two team captains for that lethal lockdown match. First, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome captain of team number one, the instant classic, Christian Cage. Christian Cage, please welcome to the Impact Zone, Tom Coe! And another interesting choice as team captain for the lethal lockdown match. You talked about the Christian Coalition. You talked about the long-term association that Tom Coe has had with Christian Cage. And think of this, when we debut in Lowell, Massachusetts, it will be Tom Coe, Christian Cage on opposite sides as captains in that lethal lockdown cage matchup. Well, it's one of the most incredible matchups, the danger involved, but the real excitement begins when all later are inside the six sides of steel and that ceiling with weapons lowers down. Gentlemen, please conduct yourselves like professionals. I've called you here to the ring to simply state the rules in front of both of you so there's no misunderstanding. You are each team captains. You both have two weeks until March 27th, the biggest night in TNA Impact history, to give to me the rosters for your respective teams. The rules of the match have been set the rosters will be finalized. Gentlemen, may the best team win. Are there any questions? Actually, Jimbo, crystal clear, I don't have any questions, but there are a couple things that I need to get off my chest. Since this is the first time officially Tomko and I have come face to face since you cost me the World Heavyweight Championship. Still can't let it go. It's what we talked about, the long history between these two. Well, look at how far you've come, Tomko, huh? Look at you, the captain of Team Tomko. How's that working out for you, huh? You're, you're your own man now. Is it everything that you dreamed it would be? 
Now you look confused. I know you got a chance to sleep on it at Destination X when Samoa Joe choked your out. Tonko, it gets better because at Lockdown Team Cage, more specifically, the Instant Classic is going to take your out for the last time. You say you're ready to take on the world alone. But Tomko, you can try to convince yourself that's true all you want, but what it really boils down to is you're still a lap dog. You're just not my lap dog anymore. You're Kurt Angles. Whoa. But let me put it to you like this. Hold on a second. Let me, I'm gonna get to the point right now, and I'm gonna look in your beady little eyes and tell you it's like this. You are and always will be a big, jacked up, tattooed, bald headed. Whoa! Wow! And that was all he could take, but Christian Cage expected it. And look at him come up the roundhouse right. And now stomping on him. And here comes AJ. Oh, yeah, the Prince of Phenomenal. AJ Styles has hit the ring. And look at the beat down now. Oh, yeah, two on one against Christian Cage. Both AJ Styles and Tonko. Oh, the numbers game is too much for Christian Cage.